If you are taking a magnesium supplement, you might think you are doing something great for your health. But what if I told you that some forms of magnesium barely get absorbed at all, while others can completely change the way you sleep, think and recover? In my consultations, I often meet people who say, I've been taking magnesium for a month and I don't feel anything. The problem is usually not the dose, it's the form. Let's clear this up. Magnesium is one of the most essential minerals in your body. It's needed for over 300 processes like muscle function, energy production, focus, digestion, even stress response. But here's the thing. Most people today aren't getting enough magnesium. And to make matters worse, they are often taking the wrong type of magnesium supplement. So let me show you which forms are effective and which ones to avoid. Let's start with magnesium oxide. It's cheap, it's common and it's practically useless. Supplement bottles love to show 400 mg of magnesium oxide on the label, but your body only absorbs about 4% of that. The rest, it leaves your system fast. Moreover, for many people, it causes bloating and diarrhea. I had one client who was using it for muscle cramps, but all it gave him was bloating and diarrhea. We switched him to a better form and he slept better in three days. So magnesium oxide, not worth your money. Next up, magnesium sulfate. You've probably heard of it as Epsom salt. It's great for soaking in the tube, but taking a supplement, it works like a laxative. Not ideal for daily use and definitely not well observed. Then there is magnesium orotate. Uh, it's marketed as premium, heart-friendly option, but it actually contains very little usable magnesium. Not dangerous, just expensive for what you get. Magnesium glycinate is one of my favorites, and my clients love it too. It's highly absorbable, gentle on digestion, and ideal if you are dealing with stress, tension, or poor sleep. One patient told me it was the first time in month she slept through the night without waking up anxious. If your symptoms are mostly nervous system related, uh, this is the one to look for. If fatigue and soreness are your main issues, magnesium malate is better fit. It's often recommended for people with fibromyalgia or chronic fatigue, but even if you are just tired or recovering from training, this form supports energy at the cellular level. I've seen athletes improve recovery time and clients report fever afternoon crashes after just a week of magnesium malate. Now, if digestion or constipation is your struggle, look into magnesium citrate. It's more absorbable than oxide and works well if you are looking for help with digestion or occasional constipation. Just a heads up, it can have a mild laxative effect, so start low. Uh, it's definitely not my first choice for sleep or anxiety, uh, but for digestion, it's solid. Let's talk about brain health. Magnesium L-threonate is the only form that can cross the blood-brain barrier. That makes it especially useful if you are struggling with focus, brain fog, or mental fatigue. It's one of the newer form on the market, and yes, it's more expensive, but for cognitive support, it's in a leak of its own. I've recommended it to people in demanding jobs and they've told me their mental clarity improved noticeably. This one often gets overlooked, but it's fantastic for heart health. Magnesium taurate supports blood pressure regulation and helps relax blood vessels. I've used it with clients who had mild hypertension and when combined with diet and stress reduction, we saw real improvements. If cardiovascular support is your priority, keep an eye out for this form. Let's make this simple because I know supplement labels can be confusing. So, poor absorption, magnesium oxide, magnesium sulfate, magnesium orotate, and highly absorbable. Magnesium glycinate for sleep and stress, magnesium malate for energy and recovery, magnesium citrate for digestion, magnesium L-threonate for brain function, magnesium taurate, heart support. So just circle the one that uh, matches your needs and you're good to go. Once you've chosen the right magnesium form, here is how to actually take it. Split your dose 
Smaller amounts are better absorbed than one big pill. Always take it with food. It reduces stomach issues and improves absorption. And here is the trick from practice. Pairing magnesium with vitamin B6 increases its uptake by the body. Many clients feel the difference within days when we add B6 to the mix. Also remember that magnesium competes with calcium and zinc, so if you take those, space them out. So here is the bottom line. Magnesium can be a game changer, but only if you take the right form in the right way. If you've tried magnesium before and felt nothing, don't give up. Just switch to a better form. In my practice, switching the form of magnesium is often the missing piece. And when we get it right, sleep improves, energy goes up, digestion stabilizes. Uh, if you've had experience with different forms uh, of magnesium, let me know in the comments what's worked for you. And if this helped, hit that like button and subscribe. I've got more practical, science-based health tips coming your way.